All right, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about Stuttering John from the Howard Stern Show. And I think I'm going to do a series on former Howard Stern employees and what they were like on the show and how their careers were after the show because they all did so well after they left. But I'm going to do my normal content as well. I'm just going to do these kind of videos in between that. And I decided to start with Stuttering John because he's probably the only one that actually left the show for a better opportunity and actually managed to have some kind of career after the Stern Show even though it probably peaked like right when he left the Stern show. I think it's just all downhill from there. But for a guy who got his start in the entertainment industry because he was a stutterer, he did pretty well for himself. I mean, the only reason Howard hired him is because he had a stutter and he'd constantly tell him that he was talentless and he was a terrible employee and he's just not funny at all. And if people are laughing, they're just laughing at him. First of all, regarding you stuttering, John, you are a guy who perceives himself as funny. When you go on the Ricky Lake show, when you go on the Last Call show, mm -hmm. when you do these shows, when you go on the Conan show, mm -hmm. you turn to people inevitably afterwards and go, hey, was I funny? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you something about yourself. Mm -hmm. You are the least funny person I've ever met. Mm -hmm. You are not funny. Okay. You're obnoxious. Okay. You're not funny. All right. I'll tell you what's funny about you. You stutter. Mm -hmm. When you go on TV and you try to be me, mm -hmm. it's not funny. All right. It comes off obnoxious. Okay. It's a very fine line. You see yourself as funny. Do you think you're funny? I, but see, I'm, I'm not supposed to say uh, no. No, no you, you can say whatever you want. No, I'm say what you feel. I, I mean, I'm trying to help you now. I thought you thought I was funny. No, no, <laughs> you are funny when I tell you what to say, and you're yourself, and you're genuine, and you stammer. That's funny. So, so you're saying I should be more genuine? Words, you would never be a stand-up comedian. Mm -hmm. You're not funny. And when you try to be funny, you come off obnoxious. All right, so obviously Howard's kind of an asshole. I think most people are aware of that. And it's not even like he's very funny. Early on, it was mostly just like shock value, and people just couldn't believe what they're hearing. And he would just say and do whatever to get people's attention. And then in the 90s and in the 2000s, a big part of his show was just him interacting with his employees and whack packers. So I just think he knows what people are going to find entertaining. So that's what makes his show so funny, the way he interacts with these people. And he needs them to be funny, and also they need him to be funny. Because a lot of these people on his show, they think they're funny on their own. They think they can go out and do their own thing, and that people still find them funny and entertaining. But that's really not the case most of the time. Like with John, unfortunately Howard was right. People, they would just be laughing at him. And not just because of his stutter. Usually it was because he'd do something wrong. Because he was a terrible employee. And he'd screw up and Howard would just rip him apart for like an hour or two. But also if he screwed up, that means more airtime. And the more Howard's talking about him, so the more people are going to be aware of him. And it helps his career. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. Because John being a bad employee helps him and Howard in a way. Because then it makes for good radio and people are entertained by it. So not only do, you, do I let you in for once and let you stay at the hotel, that wasn't good enough for you. The wife had to be there, the, the baby. 65 friends, the baby, the, the, the pot, it wasn't my the laundry, pot. the I, parking I, incidents, people eating, no one paying. Oh, I paid no, extra. I, 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 it's just, it's, it's too much for me. It becomes too Howard, much. I just it's want, too I, much I just for me. To know, it's head, too much for me. In your head, just want you to know one thing. What? My bill was no larger than anybody else's, and I Here paid. Here he goes. Here we go. I just because don't at least know the truth of it. All he knows is that he got stuck with a bill. John, yeah. can I, can everywhere I, you go, there's a disaster in the, in the way. It never happens Whatever. until you're there. Can I just jump in for a second, John? What I would do at this point, knowing that this, the boat is going down and there's no way I'm going to say yeah, myself. I would this, just say... Isn't this a radio show? No, I mean, but I would, I would just the say, argument? I would say, Howard, you know what? Yeah, you would show. This is no bit to me. I would say, Howard, well, you know it what? seems like one. Uh, that, that'll that never happen again. And just like... I, you know how many times I've said that, Kevin? Oh, I've said it. But, no, it never will happen this, again. Say, I've apologized. This is what I've you said say. it won't happen again. Hold on. And he doesn't let it die. It never will happen again. Howard, it'll never happen again. But... And then there's no but. Out of your mind. I've apologized so many times. John? It won't happen again. See, right here, you could tell he's not going to change his behavior because Howard's yelling at him. Like, he probably feels like he did something right. Like, at the end, he's even saying, shouldn't we keep arguing to continue the bit? So he just feels like, you know, this is a bit for the radio. They're blowing things out of proportion. There's no way Howard's that serious about this. So when Howard's yelling at him about something on the air, it's probably only going to incentivize him to keep acting the way he is because it's working. He's getting airtime. But also this kind of stuff obviously made Howard trust him less as an employee. So so I don't think he ever really moved up much of the company. I know originally he's just an intern and then he was hired as a telephone screener. You just answer calls before he puts them through to the radio. And I don't know if he ever really moved up much from there. I think that was basically his main job there, being a telephone screener while he was there for like 15 years. 
he also did other stuff like he was like a correspondent i guess you could say which we'll get to here in a little you know i just give it to ben john wonders why he didn't become associate producer Ooh. <laughs> I mean, there's your answer. Because he's John. Because he's John. <laughs> I mean, no offense. Who would give him a real job? <laughs> I go, but well, where is it? Oh, uh, today. I said, oh, so you'll have it for me in a few minutes? N n no. I'll get the list to today. John, you wonder why you're not the associate producer? When it came down to it, I just said the guy can't handle it. <laughs> he's incompetent. He'll he'll sometimes tell me he can do Gary's job. Yeah, well, I don't think so. <laughs> Gary can barely do it. <laughs> Let alone John. John is his right hand man. Right. Oh man. Anytime you have a question about your status on the show, look in the mirror. You'll see the reason. <laughs> I mean, really, the guy the guy's just a mess up. John has trouble doing one thing at the same time. So <laughs> let's uh. <laughs> Let's take that out of his hands. Yeah, so if he stayed with the show longer, I don't know if he would ever really do much more there. I think they did give him his own radio show for a little, but I don't think that lasted very long. Because like I said in the beginning, I think most people just found him entertaining when Howard was yelling at him. And then the one other thing that he really became known for was going up to celebrities and asking them like really crazy questions, which was really funny and it was original. And I think if you did this today, it'd probably go viral. So this was the one thing he was good at, but still, I don't think he wrote any of these questions. I think Howard, Jackie, and Fred were probably writing the questions and he would just read them, but he still did have some balls for doing this. Did Governor Clinton use a condom? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna put this to a stop if there are any further questions that are degrading in my opinion. Was there ever a threesome? Jennifer, will you be sleeping with, 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 right here? Will you be sleeping with any other presidential candidates? <laughs> wife go and dance topless in clubs for the money if you really needed it. Would my wife dance topless in clubs for money? Yeah. She if, never like, did dance topless. I know, but if, if you know, if you really need the money, since I know that you I are would, bankrupt. You see, I wouldn't ask my wife to do that. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, look at this! <laughs> what are you saying? You just. <laughs> You just shut up. I'll kick your ass out. You kick no one's ass. ass. No, no, get away from No me. one's ass. Look at this. Look at this. What, what is this? You want to stop kicking ass? Get it back. Go. 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 You don't pull nothing from my wife. Why Look at relax. this. Huh? Well, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'll see you in court. Relax. 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 Do you think that ugly people sh should be allowed to have children? If you pass gas at home in front of others, do you blame the family dog? So I think that's some of Stuttering John's best work, probably. And I think that's how he like really made a name for himself, doing this kind of stuff. Uh, the one other thing on the show that was pretty memorable from him is when they had on AJ Benza, who's some uh, gossip columnist for E, the E channel, and he had his own show on there, but then it got canceled right away, and Howard had him on soon after that, and Stuttering John kept putting through phone calls of people just trashing his show and making fun of him for having a show that just got canceled, and he's getting really pissed at John, and then eventually John just calls in and starts trashing him, and then he walks out and then hits John, and we get this classic Baba Booey scream. I, I don't know what kind of noise he made, and also this is big, because I believe AJ was trying out for Jackie Martling's spot on the Howard Stern show, which is like one of the top spots, like it's a big deal. So this was a big opportunity for him and I think he probably ruined it with this, but I think people were fine with that because then Artie took Jackie's spot and people say those are some of the best years of Stern with Artie on there. Uh, did your show get canceled yet, loser? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Chris, you're on the air, go ahead. Um, yeah, hi, I suffer from insomnia. And I tried sleeping pills, I tried sedatives, I tried everything, and I, fa and I finally found something that cures my insomnia. AJ After Hours. Hey, man. <laughs> what uh, is this? What is this? Come on. Let me tell you something right now. I don't, I re no, it's Lots. okay. It's all right. If you can say that. But I will, I will do one thing before I leave today. Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab Stuttering John by the face, and I'm going to punch him <laughs> right in his freaking head. <laughs> one more call gets oh. through, and you're dead, you fat bastard. <laughs> you didn't hear what just happened? Well, the guy said the show sucks, right? Yeah, so AJ goes, you know what I'm going to do, Howard? He goes... If you set her drop, it's one more call through like this. I'm gonna go out there and beat the shit out of it. Let me go, let me go. Quiet. What? Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> hey, Howard, the only thing more embarrassing is the AJ After Hours show. Oh. oh. Is that John right guy now? And you know, is that John right now? And you know who's really embarrassed? Who? He, even more embarrassed of that show than AJ? Who? His hair. Jumped right off his head to get away from him. <laughs> hey, John. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was John. I knew it. Get him in right now. <laughs> I swear to Christ, when I leave... <laughs> <laughs> you're doing it? All right, let me tell you something. You fat bastard. You better leave early. No, there'll be tomorrow. I'm going to smack you silly, you Tomorrow store. Actually, the next break. Yeah. After the break. Come hey, Howard, AJ stands for arrogant jerk, by the way. Oh, what's what this? Stand for what? You guys? Stand for what? Arrogant jerk. I, I what, swear what to God. What happened with the you The next two? break, you watch what happens. I don't really? care if I ever come back again. I'm going to go in there and punch you in. And listen, I have some free hats for a little... Uh, I'll go right now. A good wig for you to wear back here, AJ. Oh, shit. <laughs> Go home, AJ. Go home. Oh, really? No, really. Just for now. I'm not saying go home like it. I'm saying like go home like calm down. Yeah, so of course, stuff like this is going to happen once in a while on this show because it's just like so toxic. And obviously, some people do not handle criticism or being made fun of very well. And if you don't handle that well, you probably shouldn't be on the show. So while Stuttering John was on the show, he did manage to get some small movie appearances. He was in Dude, Where's My Car? I think he was wearing the shirt in that video. And he was in Airheads. And also, he made it to some reality show which actually helped him get noticed by Jay Leno, I believe, because while he was on the Stern Show, like right before he left, he went on Jay Leno as just a guest, and he talked about this reality show. Now tell me about, you're just back from Australia, from yeah. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Yeah. Let me be honest, when they called you, did you know you were a celebrity? No. <laughs> I always consider myself like G-list celebrities, you know what I mean? But that, I was I was flattered that they called me. Well, I mean, it is sort of, I mean, in, in New, well, Howard Stern is syndicated. It's a radio show. Yeah. And you're one of the pop, you know, more popular people on the show. Yeah. But, I mean, when you tend to think of celebrities, you think, you know, Jennifer Lopez, Ben Affleck. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That yeah. type of thing. Yeah. So what did you, did you think it was real? What did you think when they called you with this idea? I just did it for the money. So I guess after this interview, Jay Leno's like, you know what, this guy's so great that I'm gonna give him $400,000 a year to come work for me and be my announcer. It's unbelievable. I don't know what the hell he's thinking. I don't know how he thought that was a good idea. I guess maybe he was just really impressed with John's audition tape. Tonight Show with Jay Leno, featuring Kevin Eubanks and the Tonight Show Band, and me, I'm Stuttering John. Tonight, Jay welcomes Pamela Anderson, <laughs> Harrison Ford, the music of Simon and Garfunkel, wow. and comedian Jeffrey Ross. And now, Jay Leno! Maybe Jay was impressed by the way he said Pamela Anderson. Honestly, that might have been it. Like, he probably just had him on there to goof on him and make fun of him like Howard did. He probably thought he could have the same dynamic, but it just did not translate very well. And I don't even know how long he lasted as the announcer. I can't really figure it out, but... It might have been less than a year, but Jay did keep him on for like a while after that as a writer. And even though the announcing gig didn't last long, it's still a lot further than I think anybody thought he could make it. What are you talking about? But the even when I told him, I got the job, he's like, no way, wait, like, wait. get out of here, you. No, John, everybody you said that. Show, right? Well, we John, you, you can't do anything yeah, else. Yeah, what are you doing? You're being the stuttering announcer. All right, so then, but the you can't do anything else. You're the stuttering John. All right, so then I sucked. Right, I didn't say you sucked. The point that Mel was making is, you don't love this show. Of course I love this show. No, oh, you want to go do a, I've, uh, Howard, I gave you 15 a years of loyal... of this 15 show. 15 years of loyal service. Because nobody else wanted you. No, because I love you, no, and I love no this show. No, because no one else wanted you. Know you. you first you offer you show. got, you ran off. So that was his last day, and obviously Howard wasn't very happy, and this destroyed their relationship. And also, I think it destroyed Howard's relationship with Jay, possibly, too. And I think Howard was really mad because John didn't tell him till like, the last minute, like, right before he was leaving. And I can understand why John wouldn't want to tell him because he'd probably try to sabotage it. But like I said, John didn't do much with that opportunity, and he didn't last long as an announcer. But still, I'm sure it's a lot better than his future at the Howard Stern Show. Like, he made a ton of money. He still was a writer after that, and he said Jay was a lot better to work for. He gave out bonuses. 
he just cared about his employees a lot more. But now I think he's been done working for Jay for a while, and he's kind of come back down to reality. And I think he is where people thought he'd be after he left the Stern Show. He just does like a podcast, and I think he tries to do stand up. There's also a rumor that he's a substitute teacher, and he even sued Sirius XM a few years ago because they play old shows of Howard's, and obviously he's on there, so he thought he was owed some kind of royalty checks or residuals or something, but he obviously lost. And now I think he's just bitter towards Howard, but he did manage to make a really good career for himself. For somebody that it doesn't really have that much talent and isn't a very good worker he made it pretty far and he made a good amount of money obviously he didn't make that much from working with howard but howard gave him the opportunity to make money in other places and also maybe if john stayed with howard when they went over to sirius he could have gotten a better position possibly but who knows i'm sure he's getting sick of working there i don't know how much longer you'd take howard yelling at him and maybe howard would have fired him eventually so he probably made the right decision going over to Jay Leno and he was able to cash in. And maybe if he worked a little harder and tried to become a better comedian or actor or something, he could have made it even further. So who knows? But that's about it for this video. Make sure you hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about all this, then hit the subscribe button and I'll catch you at the next video.